Hello everyone, welcome to that Physics AI YouTube channel. In this video, I will be reviewing the books on modern physics and quantum mechanics, uh, specifically for uh, the entrance examinations like JAM, CSIR NET, GATE, JEST, and TIFR. So let's begin the video. So the first book uh, I am reviewing is the concepts of modern physics. I will be reviewing in briefly. I will not go into the details of the book. I will just let you know that uh, uh, what this book is for and for which students uh, can refer this book. Okay. So this book is by uh, Baiza, Mahajan and Chaudhary. This book is for bachelor students. Uh, if you are in BSc and uh, if you are doing BSc physics then you can refer to this book. Um, mm -hmm. This book is also beneficial or helpful for the IIT jam preparation because uh, uh, it has a lot of different concepts like uh, the first chapter you can see it is relativity the second chapter is uh, particle properties of waves third is wave properties of particles and uh, in the way in this way you can see that it deals with the uh, different topics uh, in modern physics it also has uh, atomic structure it has quantum mechanics the basics of quantum mechanics also uh, this book has uh, some part of solid state physics also and nuclear physics also. As you can see, chapter number 9 is statistical mechanics, chapter 10 is the solid state and 11 is the nuclear physics, nuclear structure. So uh, this book will give you an overview and the idea of uh, the modern physics and that is currently uh, developing very fast. Also this book has uh, uh, very good illustrations and solve problems also you can see this is the solve problem in the relativity chapter and will you will see uh, very good unsolved uh, questions also so in this way you can uh, uh, use you can solve these problems and and you can make command on your concepts okay so this is all about this book uh, you can uh, buy this book from anywhere it is available on Flipkart, Amazon. Also, uh, it is mostly available in any uh, local offline store. Also, okay. So next book is Quantum Mechanics by H. C. Verma. So this is also a very good book. I personally like this book. If you are uh, in bachelor's and want to study quantum mechanics deeply, or want to uh, <coughs> clear your concepts, then you can go for this book. This book also has solved problems as well as unsolved examples, uh, unsolved questions. Let me show you the index of this book. This book starts from the double slit experiment. That is the actual history of the quantum mechanics, how quantum mechanics began. Then again, wave, wave description of quantum mechanics. Um, again, you can see that there is a Heisenberg uncertainty principle. Then uh, the mathematics of the quantum mechanics, that is the operator formulation and uh, Schrodinger equations and the application of Schrodinger equation that is deep square well particle in 2D box and finite square well like that. So uh, uh, I have read uh, like everything in this book because I really like this book. As you know that H.C. Orma is a very good teacher and the, uh, his, his command on this physics is way beyond anything. Okay, so. You can also buy this book if you want to learn basics of quantum mechanics. Okay, this is I will uh, uh, again uh, highlight on this point is that this is only basic book. If you are preparing for CSIR NET, then this is not for you. Okay, this is for you, but this will not be the enough. Okay? So that is the one book which you can refer in your bachelor's. Now the next book which I am talking about is for CSIR NET. Uh, as well as jam aspirants okay this is all round book this book has as you can see the name of the book is quantum mechanics concepts and applications by Nordan Zetri okay this is a very famous book it is used worldwide and uh, you can refer this book in your bachelor's as well as in your masters because this book covers the advanced part of quantum mechanics also let me show you the uh, index as you can see in the index there is a uh, chapter number one which is origin of quantum physics uh, chapter two deals with the mathematical tools for quantum mechanics 
this is a very good chapter if you command on this chapter if you really under understand this chapter then uh, your concepts or you, you will be easily able to understand uh, the advanced concepts okay because linear algebra and mathematics is the tool for quantum mechanics then third chapter is about postulates and then again the application of quantum mechanics okay this book has very good problems uh, <coughs> there are a lot of solved examples in this book like after each chapter you will see uh, at least 15 to 20 solved questions because uh, solved questions th that will help you uh, in clearing the entrance examinations like jest get tfr and etc there is exercises also as you can see i have solved a few problems for this book um, this is a very good book okay if you solve these ex exercises and unsolved problems then this is enough for the entrance examination so i will recommend you to buy this book uh, if you really want to uh, prepare for the entrance examination specifically okay, okay. next is uh, next book is introduction to quantum mechanics by david j griffiths david j griffiths is a very famous writer as you know you might know that his book on electrodynamics is very famous so this is another book by him in quantum mechanics this book is uh, uh, divided into two parts and uh, this book is for bachelor students as well as for master students because this book also have advanced part in quantum mechanics uh, uh, this is divided into two parts first part is theory part second part is application part so in first part you will just learn about the theoretical aspects or theoretical background of quantum mechanics and in the second part you will learn how the quantum mechanics is applied into different uh, 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 actual problems like in perturbation theory in variational principle wkb approximation now these are the um, actual problems in the quantum world uh, also, uh, there is a chapter which is called as linear algebra uh, at the end of this book. <coughs> so uh, I, I, was, I will recommend you to uh, buy any one of the Zetli or the Griffiths book. So uh, firstly, I will recommend you to download the soft copies of this book and uh, and refer if it is working for you or not because some people like Griffiths and some people like uh, Zetli book because in Griffith there are not uh, solved examples in Griff, uh, Zetli we will see a lot of solved examples but both the books are very good books they have all oh, their different tests uh, let me tell you, uh, tell you uh, some major differences of these books so uh, just a second okay as you can see the uh, Zetli book deals with the history of the quantum mechanics it also tells you about how the quantum mechanics has began so the first chapter of the Zetli is origin of the quantum physics on the historical notes but in Griffiths you will not see any chapter like that uh, Griffiths directly uh, starts from the wave equation <coughs> uh, directly starts from the Schrodinger equation and the statistical interpretation of quantum mechanics so that is the major difference and another difference is the solved examples otherwise both books are very good um, so this book is um, mostly used by students who, who are preparing for CSR net get exams okay. now next book is if you still want to solve a lot of problems uh, if you think that the problems of these books are not enough for you then you can buy this book which is 500 problems with solutions in quantum mechanics by Arul Das. So this is uh, basically a uh, book consists of uh, a lot of problems which are solved problems. Okay. Then uh, you can go as you can see I have uh, solved a few problems of this book. Uh, you can also uh, buy this book. This is a very good book. Uh, if, you, if, you, if you are interested in knowing how to approach the problems then you can go with this book okay now the next book which I am talking about is the principles of quantum mechanics 
by R. Shankar, Ramamrit Shankar. This book is actually my favorite book, but I have not read it much because uh, this is uh, like if you start reading this book, um, you will forget your syllabus. And specifically, why I like this book is that uh, it starts with the you know, mathematical aspect of quantum mechanics, like the linear algebra part. As you can see, the first chapter of this book is mathematical introduction. That is linear algebra and the historical standpoint that this book provides about the quantum mechanics is far far better than all the other books because as you, you will see that uh, second chapter is about review of classical mechanics and then all is not well with the classical mechanics why classical mechanics failed at the uh, microscopic level or the nano level this explains or this uh, clears all of your uh, doubts about the uh, history of the quantum mechanics or why quantum mechanics began i will suggest you to buy this book if you uh, want to go deeper into the concepts of the subject okay so this is uh, good for the understanding of the subject so you can also go for this book okay so next book is uh, this is also a uh, book which is i uh, which i will i will tell you that this is not a textbook this is a general book and uh, this is uh, this book also has all quantum theory in detail and the matrix mechanics which is the heisenberg picture of quantum mechanics is explained in this book and the advanced part is uh, not that much uh, there is a so you can also buy this book if you just want to know the concepts okay this book is not uh, for the csi net or get exams this is not for exam preparation book uh, there are not a lot of uh, unsolved examples or unsolved example uh, unsolved problems so i will not recommend you for that then another book just f this book is for the uh, beginners or the i will say uh, those who are not from the physics background also can read this book this is a book by leonard susskin who is a very famous string theorist at the uh, stanford university the book is called quantum mechanics the theoretical minimum um this book has a uh, very few chapters uh, i think this book has only 7 to 8 chapters yeah you can see there are only 10 chapters in this book so so that's all about this book guys um you can also give this book to somebody uh, who is from mathematics background but want to learn quantum mechanics then you can give this book to that person okay so next book is the quantum mechanics fundamentals by gottfried this is actually advanced book this is not for beginners those who are in their masters or in doing phd uh, can refer to this book i will let you know about the index of this book firstly it deals about the fundamental concepts as usual then there is uh, the formal network and after that in fourth chapter itself it talks about the low dimensional systems like the spectroscopy in two level systems so you can uh, um, guess from that that this book is a very advanced book this is not for beginners or the bachelor students just uh, you can go for this book also if you already read all the other books which i mentioned okay so the next book is um, quantum mechanics by leonard schiff so i will recommend you to buy this book <coughs> um Uh, to the master students uh, who are doing their masters uh, 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 in physics basically uh, this book has very good derivations and uh, uh, a lot of theoretical picture of quantum mechanics so those who are writing their masters exams uh, uh, they uh, they use this book and in a lot of uh, indian universities this book is referred so you can go for this book again i will say that this book is not for uh, entrance examinations because it mostly uh, does not have a lot of solid examples or problems okay so this is the book so the next book is the modern approach to quantum mechanics by uh, john s townsend this is also a very advanced book this is again for masters or phd students um as you can see if you want to um 
or make your concept strong then you can read this book the first chapter of this book is the stern galak experiment and the second is rotation of basic states and matrix mechanics so you can guess from the first chapter itself that this is a very advanced book it it has a, a, a very good theory part so you can read this book if you are in masters right again this is not for uh, entrance exam preparation as it does not have a lot of problems now the last but not the least the final lectures in physics part 3 so this book is one of my favorite books of all the books because not because it is written by feynman but the way it is written um, it's it's out of this world and uh, uh, the only topic of this book is this book <coughs> is not uh, meant to be uh, read by those who are preparing for the exams because if you start reading this book you will not stop it and you will keep reading it and your syllabus will be uh, all the other syllabus of the subjects will not be completed so if you are really a physics enthusiast then you should buy this book i will recommend you to buy this book and read it in your free time uh, this will give you a lot of uh, new things in the world of quantum mechanics so that's all for this video guys if you like the video please uh, please do share it uh, and and comment down below uh, and if you want to uh, if you want me to make the videos like this in future then you can uh, comment down in the comment box and uh, thank you so much for watching the video see you in the next